How did Aaron Judge do last night? Here's Judge, who absolutely annihilates that ball. My goodness, he's done it again. Aaron Judge with his 45th home run of the season. I got to talk about the Yankees because there's so much chatter about this New York team coming out of New York, coming out of the West Coast, coming out of Houston. People comparing, wanting to say the Dodgers are the best team, wanting to say the Astros are better. People in New York saying the Mets are better, and they are. I am still raw about the way I was treated on social media when I explained that the Yankees starting rotation is not good enough and they're going to need changes. And at the time, they had pitched like 15 great games in a row. And the recency bias that people have in the media is staggering. You give someone a four for five game and that player's an all-star hitter. You have someone pitch a shutout and this guy is good. You have him pitch three good games in a row and you got yourself an all-star. You pitch seven good games in a row. This is a Cy Young candidate. It's a good thing none of you run teams. And I'm not trying to say that I was any better than you would be if you were actually running a team. I'm actually trying to say that if you were actually running a team, you would just look at things differently. You may still make better decisions than I made, but the way you would make them would be totally different than the way you look at things as a fan or as a member of the media. It's totally different. Brian Cashman knows very well that his starting rotation had, has a problem. In the last 33 games, their starting rotation has an ERA of 4.74. Is that good? Is that good enough? Is that World Series winning good enough? 33 games, it's, you know, a sixth of a season, more than a sixth of a season. It's more than a month of play. It's not nothing. Going 13 and 20 in your last 33, that's not good. Now, of course, they were 70 games over 500, so their record is still good enough to be 30 games over. Let's do better math. If they're 30 games over now and they were seven games under, they were 37 games over 33 games ago. And when you're 37 games over and you've got an extra month to play because you will not have played the 33 games where you're 13 and 20, everybody is saying, my God, they're going to break the record. They're a runaway freight train, which is how people are describing the Mets right now. They're a runaway freight train. They're going to beat the record of 116 wins. Could they get to 120? This could be the greatest Yankee team of all time. Will it be great if they don't win the World Series? Can you have a great regular season, not win the championship, and still be considered the best team? Do you have to finish? I think everyone would agree finishing is an important part of the process. So I get all of the irrational exuberance. But here we are 33 games later. Aaron Judge is still hitting. He got his 45th home run last night. He's on pace to beat Roger Maris' record. Do you know how great it would be for Aaron Judge to hold the Yankees' all-time home run record? Do you have any idea how badly Aaron Judge wants to break that record? Because if Hal Steinbrenner lets Aaron Judge leave for another team over 20 million, 50 million, or 100 million, He's trading the all-time single-season home run record holder of the most historic franchise in all of sports. In his prime. OMG. Every home run that Aaron Judge hits is like a pin in the Chris Sale voodoo doll. Except Cashman has the voodoo doll of Aaron Judge. He does not... Let me make sure I repeat this in very clear terms. The New York Yankees do not want Aaron Judge to break Roger Maris' single season home run record. God, does that make me sound terrible? But it's so true. They don't get the benefit of the marketing, of the merchandise, of the season ticket increase, They get none of that unless they retain Judge. They'd have to celebrate it right when it happened. And if it happens, God forbid, on the last game of the season, maybe they celebrate it during the playoffs. But if you know he's on your team next year, then you wait and celebrate it the following season. And you do an entire on-field presentation. You get him a gift. You sell out 
The secondary market for tickets to that game is going to be huge. You make it a part of buying season tickets for the next year. It gives you protection in case you don't have a good October. There's all sorts of great money reasons why you celebrate a great feat the next season, not the current season. So Aaron Judge breaks 61. Rob Manford and Bud Selig in his retirement are rooting so hard for Aaron Judge to break Bonds' record of 72. They want to get Bonds' name out of the record book so fast your head will spin. Do they put in different balls of play when Aaron Judge hits? No. Are there different balls that the Yankees play with in order to get Judge to hit more home runs? No. Do I guarantee that? Yes. That said, that doesn't mean the commissioner's office doesn't root for it. So the Yankees have this Aaron Judge situation. They got rid of Gallo, fine. I don't think the Dodgers have lost since they got Gallo, have they? Coco, what's going on with Gallo in the, in the um, what, has he even played? Is he doing anything other than pinch hitting for the Dodgers? Do they give him a spot start since the All-Star break? My guess is he starts, what, every three games? Something like that, one game a series, and then a lefty pinch hitter off the bench maybe for the Dodgers. But I think they've done pretty well. He did Homer last night. That's so awesome. <laughs> this is live, folks. Coca had no idea that Joey Gallo would even come out of my mouth. But he was ready for it. So if you're the Yankees, you're watching Aaron Judge hit all these home runs, you're losing games, you're very concerned about October because there are very many players who hit many home runs during the regular season. Then they get to the postseason. They hit one, they hit two. Aaron Judge has been absolutely raking since the All-Star break. He's got like 11 home runs, like a 1,500 OPS. But guess what? The Yankees are 7-11. and 11. You need the pitching, folks. How many times do I say pitching and defense wins rings? Could there be an exception? Once in a blue moon. The moon is not blue today. The Yankees are going to have to turn their starting pitching around and then pray pray that their offense gets super hot and they can outslug opponents four times out of seven. I'm just not sure that's going to happen.